What's up, my pilots? Angry Poncho here. Welcome back to Final Fantasy X. We're fighting some monsters. So the first thing is first. Uh, I want to refill everybody's overdrive meters. The quickest way I know to do that is to set them all to Victor. And then uh, just fight a random, like, cheap monster like a dingo. Which is just the monster that you get if you just mash A when you go into the menu. And these guys are ludicrously weak. They're from the very first area. So you'll get an immediate overkill. Win the battle. And uh, overdrive meters are, are filling up. Let me see, how many times am I going to have to do that for it to fill up? Yeah, twice it looks like, so not that much. So, smack around a couple dingoes and we'll get ourselves uh, fully, fully charged overdrive meters for everybody. And then we can do the next step of this process. So, I'm going to show you guys how we're, how we're going to get super buff here at the end of the game and max out the sphere grid as much as we can. Um, we're going to go with Titus, Yuna, and Waka for our final party. So we're just going to be focusing on the three of them. Sorry, Orin, you've been cut from the team. That's just how it is. Uh, now that Yuna's overdrive is charged now, right? Yeah, okay, cool. We're going to go ahead and fight One-Eye. So one eye is a species conquest, and he is the ultimate one-eyed flying bat monster. There he is. It's one eye. Oh. Oh, look at that. We didn't get one shot. That's amazing. Is he immune to sensors? Oh, it doesn't say he's immune to sensors, but anyway. We're going to grant summon anima and just see how it goes. We're going to need to be beating One-Eye a lot, because One-Eye has a random chance to drop weapons that give triple AP, and we're going to want that for something we're going to do later. Plus, I mean, weapons that give triple AP, so that's good. If you're on the grind and don't need to be breaking the damage limit, uh, triple AP is probably one of the best abilities you can have. When I was like, you can't make me fall to the floor, I'm a flying monster. Definitely got to switch to the short cutscenes for this grind. But basically we're gonna be beating up one eye until he drops a weapon for all three of our characters. Ow! <laughs> My eye! <laughs> Anima's like, ah, oh, I'm in pain constantly! Oh, sorry. Anyway, Magic Defense Sphere and Durandal. Is that a weapon for Titus? Did we get lucky on the first go? Where's Durandal? Triple AP, baby! Oh, but that's not quite good enough. We need a weapon that's triple AP and has two empty slots. Uh, because we're going to customize it to be a super AP weapon. And uh, basically, I'm just going to do what you just saw over and over again until I have a triple AP weapon with two empty slots for everyone in the party, which is to say Titus, Juno, and Waka. So, uh... <sighs> yeah, I'll be, I'll be back. Oh, fuck, it's been like two and a half hours. All right, um... I have killed one eye so many times. So many times. But we got our stuff. So check this out. Triple AP for Waka. Oh, I have two <laughs> for Yuna. And uh, triple AP for Titus as well. So now we got to actually customize those weapons. So we want triple AP. We also want overdrive to AP and triple overdrive. So, boom. Ragnarok! Alright. And now we'll upgrade the Wonder Wing for Yuna. So overdrive to AP and triple overdrive. The Heavenly Axis! Oh, they, they, I love how they get cool custom names. Pretty friggin' 
it just sort of encourages you to make your own crazy custom ideas. The blowout, oh, they, we can't lose, baby. All right, so we used up all of our winning formulas, so that's going to be the only three we can make unless I can find a way to farm more, which I won't. But now I can show you the Don Tom Berry trick. All right, so overdrives. Go to set mode and put one of your characters on stoic. Doesn't matter which one. I'll put it on Titus. Yuna and Waka will both be set to Comrade. So here's how this works. We're going to fight Don Tonberry. He is an area conquest. For, I think for... It's under the Omega Ruins, maybe. Oh no, it's for inside the Stolen Faith Temple. So. I'm going to have Titus attack Don Tonberry. Don Tonberry will use an attack called Karma, which will deal damage to Titus equal to 100 times the number of monsters that he has uh, gotten the last hit on that he's killed. So you can see it's like 800 and some. The other two will just uh, chill. Why didn't Yuna's overdrive meter go up? Did I not set it correctly? Yeah, it should be going up when Titus takes damage. That's that's not what's happening. Hmm. All right. So two things that need to happen here: one, life Titus; two, flee from the battle. And then we're going to uh, double check that I've got this set up properly here, because Yuna's gauge should be filling up just like Waka's did. Oh, the, did <laughs> did <laughs> did I just give it away? We're gonna get a lot of severe levels from this. <laughs> that's pretty good, right? It was, it was pretty. That was pretty quick. Oh, oh, it was working. Okay, that's okay. Right, 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 right. So let me show you this. So the way these weapons work is, the triple AP is the ability it has from one eye, and that just means all your all your AP production is tripled at the end of battle. They multiply it times three. Triple overdrive says that your overdrive meter charges three times as fast. Overdrive to AP says. Okay, whenever your overdrive meter would charge, instead, you just get more AP. More experience instead of charging your overdrive meter. So your overdrive meter will never fill. But you'll get experience every time your overdrive meter would go up. And then if you set Titus to Stoic, his overdrive meter will go up when he takes damage. But again, because of overdrive to AP, he gets lots of AP when he takes damage. And because of triple AP and triple overdrive, he gets nine times as much. So it goes up really quickly. Uh, and then the other two are both set to Comrade so that their overdrive meters go up when Titus takes damage. No, I don't want to chat. I'm sorry, buddy. I've said that same dialogue line to you like five times. Um, so let's go back in there. The reason that we use Don Tomberry and this setup for this is that his attack does a really consistent amount of damage, and it's very high. In theory, if Titus had gotten a thousand kills, it would be the damage maximum of 99,999, but he's only got, what, 842 kills, so it's a little less. It doesn't really even matter what we do on the other turns, and it doesn't matter how much damage Titus does, and it doesn't matter if we flee from the fight. Because of the way Overdrive to AP works, you get AP even if you don't win. As long as your Overdrive meter was being charged, you get more AP. The only thing you gotta watch out for is you don't want Tomberry to come all the way up and start killing your people. I, I assume you could still get AP even if you had everybody die, but I'm not sure. Also, Auto Phoenix isn't going off because I don't have any Phoenixes in my inventory. It's fine. MP is free resource. So we just do this a few times. Have Titus take like you know, between a quarter and a half million points of damage. And then all we have to do is make sure that everybody is conscious when we flee. Because anybody who's unconscious won't get AP, even if they have overdrive to AP on their weapon. So wait, wait, special, flee. And boom, over a million AP. That's pretty nice, huh? And this is how we're going to traverse the entire sphere grid. Uh, and this is how you'll fill in the existing sphere grid. 
Look at that. Boom. Beautiful. Uh, and then if we need more spheres in order to fill in the sphere grid, well then we fight Kodos and use one of those distill items to get him to drop 40 of whatever kind of sphere we want. So from here on, it's really, really easy to uh, level up our characters. And even if, if we wanted to level up somebody, somebody else, we could still make them a custom weapon. So let me show you here. So let's say maybe we wanted to do that for... Uh, well, we got one for Kamari, just by pure luck. We won't be able to uh, get triple overdrive because we're out of winning formulas, but we can still give him overdrive to AP. And I suppose double overdrive is something as well. So now if we wanted to, we could formation, switch Kamari in. We could make one for Auron and switch him in and basically just do the exact same thing again. And uh, get as many sphere levels as we want get as many spheres as we want. And so from there, it's pretty trivial and just a lot of grinding, really, to move your character around the entire sphere grid as it currently exists and just fill in pretty much every available space. I mean, you don't necessarily have to go into parts of the sphere grid that don't seem relevant. Like, you know, I don't need to take Titus down into, like, uh, Lulu's part of the grid if I don't want him to learn dark magic. There's not going to be much down there for him in the terms of strength and agility and that sort of thing. So that's not really what we want. And if you want to get your character's stats maxed out, you're going to have to do some work customizing the grid using... So you know we have... Uh, we have these kind of spheres down here. Uh, like MP, defense, magic defense. I don't know how I got 70 of these. It must have been beating one of those monsters that we fought. I didn't even notice. But uh, these will turn an empty node nearby into that thing plus four. So with the 70 of those, we could put down... Well, I mean, I don't even know how many we'd actually need because the stats max out at 256. So for 256 over four, what is that, 64? Yep. Uh, we would need at most 64 of those. And we just got uh, 70 of them. So you can see how we could go around the grid and start filling in all these empty spaces, putting in these custom nodes, and we can maximize our magic defense. As we go through fighting other monsters in the arena, we're actually going to be able to get every kind of upgrade node. So we'll be able to make our own strength plus fours, magic plus fours, luck plus fours, all that, and including uh, HP and MP. So it's, it's actually possible to get your character stats up completely maxed out where you have uh, 9,999 HP, 999 MP, and all your other stats are 256. Because uh, it doesn't take that much space to fill in the whole grid and, and just start filling in all these empty spaces and get your characters super fucking ripped. So what I'm going to do now is just do the first step of that that I explained, which is basically I'm going to get a bunch of spheres from Kodos and I'm going to go around the grid with all the sphere levels we have and just fill in the nodes that are already here. And then once that's done, we should be strong enough to fight all of the custom creations in the monster arena, hopefully. We'll see. And then we can start talking about how we're going to get our characters super maxed and go fight the Dark Aeons. So, that's where we're at. I'm going to... I'm going to do what I uh, said I was going to do and get these characters just fucking ripped. So uh, I'll be back in a few days. <laughs> hey, everybody. It's been a few days. Welcome back. So here's Kamari's sphere grid. <laughs> yeah, I just I went nuts. So basically, Kamari is, is an uncompromising badass very strong very just very everything uh I, I just thought it would be funny if we came back from break and kimari was somehow sun had suddenly the most powerful person in the party who knows like all the white magic all the black magic every good buster and break ability and is also the strongest fastest and most powerful caster in the party so yeah there's kimari 
So if we get stuck on any of the bosses, we're going to use Kamari, because everybody else is still relatively normal. Oren is just on his sphere grid. Uh, Lulu has done hers and uh, Yuna's, and he's a little bit of Titus's too, actually. Riku, uh, sorry Riku, Titus has done his, Oren's, and uh, Waka's, and some of Yuna's. So he's, uh, he's pretty tough too. Also has maxed out his HP. His strength is 166, which is pretty good. Not as good as Kamar, but pretty good. Uh, and then Yuna also has maxed out, almost maxed out MP as well, because she's gone through every part of the grid that cares about magic in any way. So all of Yuna, all of uh, Lulu's grid down here in the bottom right, uh, some of Riku's, all of her own, and some of Titus's. So basically she's got all the spells that we've unlocked at this point. So that we found a new place to get level four unlocks, but we'll get there eventually. Waka, also pretty strong. Uh, he's done all of his grid, all of Orin's, and most of Titus's. Max out his HP. Uh, and uh, that's what we're looking at right now. So, we go back to the menu here. Titus, Yuna, and Waka are going to be our party. And if we get stuck on something, we'll try using Kimari. <laughs> the funny thing is that Kimari is still kind of underpowered, even at this point. Even with how much more he's been leveled up. Just because he is, uh, his overdrives don't deal multi-hit damage. Anyway, I believe we finished off fighting Kotos. So, let's, uh, wait, do I need to heal? No, we're good. And we have all the items we need, like Phoenix Downs and such. Yeah, I think we're set. Alright, so, let's keep fighting the, uh, area conquests. Coral Regina. Queen Coral. She's like, woke me up. Very, very rude. Yeah, you can see we're doing the, uh, the damage max now. 99,999. At least Titus is. Waka's about two-thirds of the way there. And then, let's see how much, uh, damage Holy is gonna do. Ooh, less than Waka. Yeah, Yuna's a little under underpowered for everyone else. Chaos! I don't know if that does. Okay. <laughs> Oops. Uh, maybe we're a little too strong. That was very easy. It's good to know where we can get shining gems, I guess. These are going to get harder as we go along, I believe, though, so... We'll see. Ooh. All right, got ourselves a uh, one of the stone gazers. What if I should turn everybody's uh, overdrive back to damage based, just because it seems like we're going to be dealing more damage than we're taking? I don't know. Let's try flare. Four thousand. What? This guy have really good magic defense, or what? Space-time Vorpal. Oh, no. Oh, that wasn't so bad. Oh, and Titus' overdrive is ready. Goodbye. Each of the hits only does about half, but it seems like because you get six of them, it's obviously it's still like taking three turns. Pretty good! Well, it looks like doing three people's sphere grids is uh, enough to make you basically superhuman. Let me switch back to fix their overdrive modes. Warrior, Yuna, I guess warrior too. Everybody's warrior. Get a free heal. Let's fight the next one. Cactuar King, oh boy. Preemptive strike, we'll see if anybody can hit him. Oh, good. His counterattack is going to do 10,000 damage and kill Titus. Auto Phoenix. Get back up, sir. So, does Flare do less damage than Holy? Is that what I'm learning? 1,000. Oh, but that... What? Oh, I guess he has exactly 100,000. Because Titus did 99,999 and then Yuna did almost nothing. Interesting. Now we know.
So these enemies are aren't as powerful. Uh, oh, this guy's got better defense. Look at that. Oh, and he counterattacks with a move that poisons. It looks like. Let me try a uh, let's try another holy then, since Flare doesn't seem to do as much damage for Yuna. So using uh, Anima's Overdrive was getting us through fights for a while, but wow, no, she's just doing so much less. She's very evasive, though. After going through Lulu's grid, she's gotten much harder to hit. Overkill. Jeez, we might be in, like, final Aeon's territory. I didn't realize the characters had gotten this strong. Well, that's a big worm. These guys usually have a lot of HP. This should be interesting. Let's see how much damage we can do with a 12-hit attack reels. The Waka Tornado! Zombie nami na eh eh waka waka! Looks like about a little over a half mil. Pretty good! It's pretty good! Animus Overdrive is doing like 1.5 million damage at this point, so... <laughs> still by far just so busted strong. And every time Yuna gets stronger, the Aeon gets stronger too. At this point, the uh, limiting factor is going to be money. We're paying, you know, six to 10,000 gil for the privilege of each of these fights. Now here's a, a fight where having a immunity to all elements armor might be useful. Oh no, that was sad. Dude. Alright, hopefully the species conquests are a little stronger, because they're like the ultimate version of, uh, of that kind of monster. These are just the ones that show up as, uh, as your reward for completing each area. Something tells me this will one-shot Don Tomberry. I've gotten very used to... Oh, what are you doing, Titus? Uh-oh, this animation's glitching. Tomberry's got good defense. I thought it didn't do as much damage as I thought it would. Blech. See what your overdrive meter doesn't charge while you're using an overdrive. Holy, 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 holy. Oh, 26,000, okay. I guess he's got less magic defense than some of the others had. <laughs> Eunice hardly killed me, buddy, so karma does almost nothing to her. So funny. <laughs> Walk, it's like, oh, oh, I just took 50,000 damage. Ow. So with Titus being uh, equipped with the auto-haste armor, he's just going to be hasted every time he gets up, even if he's uh, knocked to zero, he still keeps his haste. Oh, he's getting closer, man. Waka's head's not attached to his body, and I hate it. Oh, he just blinked after he went down. Did you see that? I think he was faking. So much bad karma, man. This is where all my Phoenix downs keep going, by the way. <laughs> Fighting Don Tonbury. Alright, so we did 25 or so, I think, with Holy. 23, maybe? Let's try Flare. Holy's stronger than Flare. Alright. We're gonna have to get Ultima and see if that does more damage, but right now it's behind level 4 locks on the Sphere Grid, so... No access. Overkill! That was a crit. We get a couple Dark Matter. Alright. Dark Matter are pretty powerful and very rare. I think we used 99 of those to make... What was it? Which of these required Dark Matter? Ribbon, yeah. So if we, we want to get 99 more of those to make another Ribbon Armor, it's going to take a little while. Oh, let me get a, a free heal. You captured every fiend! God damn it. I keep hitting it A just a little too long. 
and end up chatting again. It's like, do you want to hear what I said again? Yes. Katoblikov? What the hell is this guy going to be? Oh, he's a behemoth. All right. He's a big boy. Ooh, he's got some good defense, too. Well, I guess Holy is the way to go for now, huh? I could try and build, like, defenses on the party, but at this point, we don't, it looks like, doesn't seem like we need them. Ooh, you had auto-protect. Yuna is already, uh... So well, so well guarded, just from the start of the fight on. And she gets to keep that anytime she gets knocked down. All the auto abilities will automatically reapply when a character uh, gets back up from being knocked out. Overkill. Oh, he finishes with an Ultima counter attack. This should be interesting. Let's see if we can live through it. Oh, yeah, we did. Everybody did. So, uh... It's those same guys that would summon the Behemoth Kings inside Sin, that would summon a Meteor. Oh my god. Those guys can just... It's, they're so irritating because they're not too hard to fight, but then they can easily party wipe you with their dying breath. Abaddon. So the interesting thing is that some of these area creations are going to be... Wow, he just comes into battle with all kinds of protections and stuff on, huh? Let's, um... Let's clear that. No more protections for you. Oh, I missed! Okay. 20,000 damage, it just kind of goes, eh. Ooh, so many things. But look! Auto med, remedy. Get wrecked. Can't use my overdrive because I'm still cursed. Whatever using remedies don't cure curses. Mana focus. Whoa. Okay. You think this fight is going to last long enough for you to st stack up buffs on us? Alright. Oh, he's got Reflect! <laughs> Alright! Sorry, Yuna. Oh my god, she lived. So proud of you, Yuna. Good job. See ya! I almost got got there. Mana tablets. Okay. Looks like we got one more in this section. I'm expecting them to suddenly be getting harder. Before too, too long. Alright, we'll go ahead and armor break this guy. I get the feeling he's gonna have, uh... Actually, you know what? We know full break now, so we'll just use that. Hmm. I wonder if that actually... It's when he says immune, it means he's immune to at least one of the things you tried to apply. But I don't think that stops the others from coming through. I love how all these super powerful fights are happening out in the Calm Lands. Oh yeah, he's still got his, his armor up. Forget to try to armor break him again. Ooh. Are we reaching the danger zone? Not really. Yeah, he's immune to armor break. Alright. We will work through that. So Yuna should Phoenix both of them here. Yeah. No worries. He can't be killed unless he kills all three of them at once. I'm gonna keep a holying. I, I don't feel like I want to so overdrive summon Anima just yet. If we can, if we can beat him with actual attacks, I'd rather do that. Plus, I mean, we're still doing twenty-five thousand damage. If Walker never gets another turn, we can use his overdrive. That'll do a good bit of damage. Oh! Ow! Oh my god. Did four, four nines to Waka. And two Phoenix downs. We're getting dangerously close to him actually killing all three of them at once. It would be very embarrassing if that happened. Alright, Titus. Oh, he counterattacks with Mortar. 
I see. That's why this is happening. Poor Walker. I have died a thousand deaths. Alright. Let's put some protections down, huh? First off, Hasty Ega. Over here, I think Titus learned Protect, didn't he? Yeah. Protect Waka, because he keeps getting killed. Waka, you don't know any white magic, do you? Oh, there's an engine outside. What a manly man with a loud engine. I'm so impressed. Nice. I've gotten pretty good at that timing. It's not any harder than uh, Waka's element reels, but it just sort of feels more punishing when you miss it. Ooh, he's got a lot of HP. Oh boy. Alright, um... You know what? I'm just gonna go ahead and auto-life Yuna, so that when Titus and Yuna both get killed by his next attack, Yuna will come back up. It seems like that was a good decision. <laughs> Bling! I'm fine. <laughs> Everything's fine. Um... What do I want to do here? Life Titus, because he's hasted. He might get another turn before the boss does. Uh-oh. Oh, no, we lose. Should have auto-lifed herself. That was the correct answer. Ooh, alright. We've reached an obstacle. So, let's take this a little more seriously this next time. Start the fight by, well, doing it what we're supposed to do to set up a fight. Oh, I didn't heal anybody. <laughs> what a fool I am. Alright, well... Start off by hasting the team, Titus, since you're so fast. Hmm. Alright, you know what? I'm gonna have her start setting up her protections. Just because, uh... I can have Waka use a Mega Elixir or something to... Try and keep everybody up. more like it. Let's we'll see if this guy's immune to slow. Yep. It's immune to slow and armor break. And he kind of attacks everything with mortar. I think Yuna has a lot more defense than these boys. She's taking a lot less damage, that's for sure. Maybe it's a, sh a shell that I actually need in order to keep these guys up. Trying to get protect and shell on everybody. How about that? Oh, can I scan him? Yeah, let's let's learn something about this guy. Oh, immune. This is very underwhelming. All right, what I want to do now? Let's cheer. Increase our damage and our defense. Oh my god, Waka still got knocked to zero. Dude. Alright, uh, white magic... Haste, Waka. White magic... Protect, Waka. White magic... Oh wait. He could have hasted himself. Oh well. Uh, he knows how to cheer too, though, so we'll do that. Yeah! It makes sense for him to be the one that learns that in the first place, actually. Look how many turns we're getting. Alright, um... What does he still need? A shell? Yeah. Everybody want, want everybody to have haste, protect, and shell. And then... Start healing people. Titus. Just I don't know, drink a potion or something, Waka. I don't want him to attack the boss and trigger a counterattack. So we also put an auto life on Yuna. Yuna, 
put an auto life on Titus. We're making it so it's hard to lose, basically, at this point. Alright, uh, special cheer again. Need to have somebody heal Waka. Oh, if Titus knows Cura. <laughs> Ooh, that did not do much. Alright, well, let's cheer again. Oof. Oh, and we got the counterattack. Ha-ha! <laughs> now you like me now. That was his one turn. Oh my gosh. His, his counterattack is more powerful than his actual move. So that means we can kind of set the, the pace for this uh, fight. Alright, auto left on everybody. Gonna just use another Mega Elixir to make this easy. Boom. Alright. Now, do we want to... How do we want to do this? Hmm. Good focus. Just try, keep trying... Just keep buffing up on him, I guess. We'll just cheer and focus until we are untouchable. I think that's three cheers, one focus. Four cheers and one focus. Four cheers and two focuses. So this is more of what you would do if you were uh, really working on setting up on a boss like this. Alright, max out on cheers. We need three more focuses, but we're probably good to start attacking the boss here. See how much this mortar does now. Oh, substantially less. That's more like it. Alright. Alright, Jinx. Lower his luck. Luck down. I guess his mortar's still gonna hit, though, even if we, uh... use status moves on him, so... We'll just chill. I do need Titus's, uh... overdrive meter to charge, though. Hmm. Drink an elixir, Raka. I'm gonna have Yuna just cure Aga, Titus. There we go. Trying not to get wrecked by this. Okay, Waka, Waka, Waka. What are we gonna do here, buddy? Start throwing high potions around, why not? I don't have any X potions, sadly. Hmm. What else? I have a lot of skills here. I wonder if any of these will work. Sleep, silence, and darkness, or is he just going to be immune to all of those? Hmm. Yeah, I don't know if much of that's going to really do anything for us. Just keep charging up his uh, overdrive meter, I guess. That's our hopes. No counterattack? Interesting. I wonder why. He's not counterattacking anymore. Oh, interesting. Maybe he only counterattacks when it does a certain amount of damage. Because that attack did more damage than the previous two. Yeah, 11,000 he didn't counterattack. Maybe he just counterattacks every 50,000 damage or something like that. So you can see Yuna's magic stat could be a little higher, considering. Do I want to go for the, the overdrive right now, or do I want to chill a little here? You know what? Let's do it.
pretty good. Ooh! Is that a new overdrive? I think it is. Nice. Ba -ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba -ba. All right. Oh, okay. Keep charging your overdrive too, I guess. He's gonna take two turns in a row here, but we have auto life on everybody, so even if I've grossly underestimated my defenses, we'll be okay. Yeah, yeah, see, we're fine. All right, you now start curing everybody. Mega Elixir is obviously superior in this regard, but you know, we do what we can. <laughs> Boy, he does not, uh, he does not use his magic stat very well, huh? Oh, that 18,000 sounded like, or that, yeah, sounded like he was going to do lethal damage. Not for a second we were getting there. Everyone in the party is just working to keep each other alive and deal damage when possible. If we can build up Waka's overdrive meter, we'll get a, uh, a kill here, though. If we can set up some regens, that might be good. How about that, huh? We chug another Mega Elixir. I have to figure out where I can bribe and or steal those so that I can start stop worrying about running out. <laughs> Counterattack. Beautiful. Yeah. Well, get in there, Titus. This guy's got a lot of HP, huh? I'm starting to think there might not be a pattern with the uh, counterattacks that he does. It just sometimes it happens, sometimes it doesn't. Oh, got him! <laughs> Finally done. Two Dark Matters. Okay, so he's another one we can fight for Dark Matter. Alright, well, that went well. Oh, so I just want to say the uh, 93 hours on the save file, I, I don't think most... I think it's more like... Like 70, maybe, would, would be more accurate. There's a lot of time spent where I'm playing kind of slow. Alright, well, I think that is all of the area conquests, right? Yeah, alright. We're on to the species. Fenrir, the ultimate dingo. Okay. Well, we'll take him seriously, just in case. Hey, Stiga. And then let's uh, see how much Holy does to him. This one shot him, I'll be very sad. Ooh, 11,000. All right. Oh, and he counterattacks. Fangs of Chaos and Titus is confused. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, he missed! Whoa, he's got really good evasion if Waka can't hit him. Look at that. <laughs> Waka's like, God damn it. This is bullshit. Titus, be healed. Oh, and be unhealed. Funnily enough, it's better for him to get knocked down and auto Phoenix. Nice. Oh, and Waka filled up his overdrive. That'll probably do it. Let me just go ahead and heal Titus, just in case. Ooh, 18,000! Alright, Waka, you wanna finish this off for us? Nice. It's always a little moment there where I'm like, careful, careful. Oh my god, that did not put him down. Ooh, boy. Uh, hmm. Okay. Just pass. You missed. Yeah. <laughs> Counterattack mists. Hmm. Yeah. Ooh, Titus is missing. 
Everybody's missing. Nobody can hit this guy. <laughs> oh no, he's he's feeling chaotic. Hey, stop that! <laughs> you little, you little dingus! You missed. Counterattack also misses. This is getting repetitive. There we go. At least the um, misses don't trigger a counterattack from Fenrir. That would be a little annoying. Boy, maybe I want to use a different overdrive mode for this boss, because dealing damage seems like an in, uh, inconsistent way to deal to overcharge the overdrive meters here. There we go, 20 more thousand. At least our team has good evasion, too. <laughs> I love the miss, counterattack miss. It's truly beautiful. Alright, maybe we can aim. How about that? <sighs> Try not to be so bad at aiming. Oh, there's a Suna. I'm past it. Alright, everybody, aim. Ready? Aim. Keep aiming. Keep aiming. Should improve our accuracy by 30% after doing it five times, so. Hopefully that's enough. You missed! Oh, but we're not missing anymore, are we? Oh, well, maybe a little. Very nice. Alright, I'm glad to find that the species creations are indeed stronger. This guy alone has been so much harder to hit. That slowed us down a lot. Got him! Oh, it wasn't even an overkill! What? So lame! It's because Titus was low HP. That's fine. Agility Sphere. Now, what does that do? So, check it out. This is the part where we start unlocking really cool optional stuff. Changes an empty node into an agility node. So if you overkill them, you're going to get two of those. And this is the point where we start collecting the items that let us max out the sphere grid. It's an exciting time. Alright, let me back up here. Let me just save again and fight the next one. What about our overdrive mode? Maybe... Charges on the character's turn. Charges when allies take damage. Oh, it just charges on a turn so that when the battles go long... Well, you know, I guess Warrior might be better if, if in the other fights it's not as hard to hit things. We'll see. Let's give the second Species Conquest a try. Ornus the what? Oh, look, he's a little lizard! Oh boy. He's agile, too. Alright, let's give a little hasty guess, shall we? This guy might be able to petrify us. Some of the lizards can do that. Ten thousand. Oof. Antidote. <laughs> Auto med. Get fucked. Oh, he's agile too. Oh boy, we're aiming. And we're aiming. Let's go ahead and heal up Titus. With the ones that are harder to hit, you can always just use magic. I mean, that is going to get you uh, a hit no matter what their evasion is. 
Unless their luck is so high that you can't even touch them. That's something else. There's four aims. And then... Let's just have her heal herself up to full. Alright, fifth and final aim here. Maybe we want to cheer, too. Really just buff up on this guy. There's two. For whatever reason, it, it stops being effective after five. It just doesn't do anything else after that. And after five times, you know you have a 30% bonus. It seems like a little... Honestly, it doesn't seem like that much of a bonus. Ooh, nice counterattack. Free counterattack for 50 grand. It's beautiful. I think that's four cheers. His head is not attached to his body, and I hate it. All right, Titus's overdrive meter is almost full. I think this fight is soon going to come coming to a close. Wow. What does Blitz Ace do? That was eight hits. Oh! <laughs> Yuna's like, here! Uh, how embarrassing. <laughs> I wasn't ready for the for the mini game, man. That sucks. Oh well. All right, Waka. I think you'll probably finish him off, yeah. I really like that Blitz Ace animation, though. That looked cool as hell. It was eight hits, and then I think they were all half hits, so it's more like four. And then I don't know how much that last one would have done. Ah, I love when he laughs with haste. He's just shaking back and forth. Four Gambler's Spirit. Hmm. I think that... I don't know. Let me see... What did that Nimbus... We got a Nimbus Rod. I don't know what that does. Oh. Oh god, it's not sorted. Double overdrive. Eh, okay. Um, shoot, what was I gonna look at right before that? Oh, um, gambler something or other, right? I think that was to give which one of these. Hmm, must have been on a, a weapon. What is it called? Gambler's Secret? Gambler's Spirit. It's SOS Overdrive. Alright, we have 99 of those. Not a super rewarding fight. Oh, I got, just got slid past that guy. Alright, Species Conquest number three. Terex. Why do I feel like this is going to be a bird? So I realized the other day... That thing's sticking out in front of its head, or in front of the top of its body. There, that's not like its head on a on a like long ass neck. That's a beak shaped like a shovel. You can see the eyes back at the base of the beak, where his fur or his uh, feathers are still a little uh, golden. Blew my mind when I noticed that. I was like, what? And in theory, we could make these fights a lot easier if we just filled our overdrive meters prior to going into them. But you know. You gotta do what you gotta do. Let's just set up some regens. I don't know, you know. Oh boy. Oh, he has regen too. Very nice. Let's dispel that. Oh, missed. What a monster. All right. Looks like we're aiming again.
Then we'll get to see what his attack looks like. Beak of Woe! Oh, I see. It curses you. Oh! And he gets to use it down on everybody? Alright. Well, that kind of sucks. It's fine, I guess. Let me deal with it. I think that's four aims. So we need one more. But I'm gonna have another regen here on uh, Waka Waka Waka. I wanna get them above half before the birds next turn. Alright, well, we can hit him now. And he doesn't have a counter attack, so that's good. Beak! It's <laughs> just like, beak. <laughs> Wait, what? That guy was so weak. That took, that took so little damage. Alright. He drops an evasion sphere. It's good to know. Alright, what's our next species conquest? Oh, it's a bug type guy. Alright, this guy will be hard to hit too. How exciting. Interestingly, Titus's accuracy is actually, I think, slightly better than Waka's now. Oh, what's holy his ass? I think a lot of the flying ones are weak to ice. Maybe I'll try Blazaga too. Ow! Oh, counterattack. And antidote. I wonder why that last bird had so little HP. Oh. Oh, this is embarrassing, Waka. You're being outclassed. Oh, <laughs> he just killed him! <laughs> Put him to sleep and silenced him. <laughs> a little excessive. Hey, there's one. Good job, buddy. Alright, Titus' overdrive meter is full, so fight over. But let's see if I can hit the... the thing this time. It was very dramatic. Who's gonna lob it up this time? It's you! It's Lulu again! There we go. Oh, and it's a max damage attack! Beautiful! I wonder if that one's a little harder to hit, because I'm, I feel like I'm missing it more than I should, but... Maybe it's just that I was, I was enjoying watching the animation. Accuracy spheres! Oh boy, that sphere grid's gonna be getting strong. What else you got for me, buddy? I like that we've reached the point where these are actually tough. Oh, well, we've beaten one eye before, but you want to see me beat one eye without using Anima's Overdrive? I think we can do it now. That's why we have so many magic defense spheres. We already have like a hundred of them. That was beautiful. Uh, I guess we're gonna have to use... Bloom? We're gonna have to use magic for this guy, right? Because... Oh, he's just immune to physical damage? Are you for real? Let's see what Holy does. Oh, he has Reflect! Alright, well, you know, have to dispel that first. Let's see, can Titus Dispel? No, he cannot. He can Hasty Ego, though. This seems like it'll be a real fight. Raka. Can you do anything for us here? Um... I don't know. Let's see if you can threaten him. Oh, he's not intimidated by your, your ball waggling. Water guy. Oh, bye, Waka. So this might be a boss where the elemental resistances are useful, huh? Okay, we need to dispel that Reflect first and foremost. Hmm. This is going to be tough. Uh, Alright, here's what we're going to do. Alright, he doesn't know Reflect. Shit. 
Alright, Titus. Just use a fucking Mega Elixir. And now... Do nothing. Yuna, cast Reflect on yourself, please. Very nice. And now... We're gonna cast uh, Drain on Yuna. And it'll reflect onto the boss. Look at that! This is how you get around a reflect that's hard to remove. Put a reflect on one of your people and bounce the attacks off. They won't know what hit them. I wonder if he's immune to Demi. Oh. Um. I, I don't know. Is this gonna. Ah. Uh, hmm. Yeah, that doesn't work. It has to be a single target attack. Now we know. Now we know. I don't know if we're going to get there doing 2,000 damage at a time, though. It does look like he uses elemental abilities, though. Maybe this is actually an opportunity for Mighty Guard. I can, can I switch people? I can switch people in. Yeah, alright. I was thinking, why, why, why wouldn't I be able to? Um, alright, well, cast Flare on yourself, you know. 18,000. That's a little more like it. Maybe Lance it? That did, that did almost nothing. Alright, well. I mean, it's gonna heal Titus for 2,000, so that's still worth it. <laughs> this is just so dumb. I love it. Bouncing attacks off of Yuna. Alright, let's try again to dispel what he's got up over there. Damn! Definitely getting one shot by elemental abilities. That is something. See, it's saying miss, not immu immune. And that says to me maybe there's there is a chance we can actually do dispel it. So let me let uh, Lulu try. Nope. Can anyone else cast dispel? Want to get in here, Kamari? You can cast dispel, right? Man. The fact that it says miss and not. Immune is what's confusing me. Oh my gosh. You know, you're tough as hell. I love it. Alright, um. Attack by throwing Gil! I don't know if I want to do that. Pill for Gil? What's, what's going on? You... Oh, he doesn't have any money! Man! Come on. Doesn't have any money? Really? Bounce a holy off of yourself. Did a little bit. All right. Can I overdrive and target Yuna? Will it let me? I don't know. No, it won't let me. All right. Um. I guess you're just gonna be casting Flare off of Yuna's Reflect. <laughs> she turns her head. Huh? Yuna, what? Oh, oh, if you say so. Does Kamari have his... Oh, he does have a Spirit Lance equipped. Okay. That's all I need to know. That's all I need to know. Cast Flare at Yuna. <laughs> this is great. Boing. 33,000. Isn't it nice to see some other people in the party? Oh, Kamari! You're so strong! Titus and uh, Waka are both getting one-shot by that. Kamari and Yuna are both taking, out, taking, it on, taking it on the cheek like a champ. Well, I should have Kamari using Holy, too. Of course, he doesn't have the uh, 1 MP or 2 MP ability. So, his flare would actually cost 85 mana. 
or his holy rather, or however much it is, 84, something like that. Oh, he has Flare. <laughs> Not good enough, buddy. Yeah, Holy is 85. Let's see how much this does. Is he stronger than Yuna? <gasps> Ladies and gentlemen, the best white mage is... Alright, I can't... Uh... Uh, how, do I, how do I heal her? <laughs> Oops, potions, I guess. Because, uh... You can't use a healing spell, or it'll bounce off of her. Yeah, yeah, that's better. <laughs> this is like that fight at the end of Wind Waker, where you have to, uh... bounce the light arrow off of your shield. Actually, you know what does, uh... Oh, you don't know. Lulu knows Holy, too. Let's see how much damage she can do. Forty-three! Oh, man! You know, how does it feel to be doing less damage with Holy than the Ronso or the Black Mage? Kind of embarrassing, right? Jeez, the Spirit Lance is huge. I never noticed before Kimari waves his weapon around when he's doing his animations. Ultima, hold on to your butts. Oh. Well then. <laughs> I'm gonna call it there. Uh, we'll, we'll come back to Jumbo Fran for a rematch next episode. Thanks for watching, folks. I'll see you then.